children of all ages, this is your revolutionary nerd bringing you a Power Rangers Ninja Steel review. Now this is a little different. It's a little different here. This is Deluxe Rumble Tusk Megazord. <clears throat> so clearly, everything here is the same mold. You have the, the same zords, the dump truck, the dog, the train, or snake. I don't really actually know what this is going to be called. I'm pretty sure it's like train or sub. It could be the submarine. Um, dragon. And this is the star of the show. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move this other stuff out of here. Get that ready because that's going to be a, a Megazord by itself. And then we'll show you the combination of him with the um, other Zord. So, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, check this out. This is the head, or the helmet, or the ninja star top, whatever you want to call. But this is the star of the show right here. This is your Rumble Tusk. Um, you know, nothing crazy fancy. Get him up here. This is the Rumble Tusk Zord. It's the elephant Zord. Um, it is what it is. If I can actually get these things here, yeah. Nothing crazy. This is kind of what it is. He's an elephant. Um, it's cool. I like it. Um, these backs are going to be the axes. Um, it's actually crazy because he actually stands like super well like that. You would think that because this is a lot heftier here than this this front here. This front pops off too. Same thing. Same gimmick. Um, and I think the front. If I'm not highly mistaken, which that is always a possibility. Hey, look at that. That's pretty awesome. That is indeed pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. So you have your Rumble Tusk coin, or Ninja Star, or whatever. Alright, so that's, that's not. So, you know, there's nothing a lot to him. He's, he's a good little standing figure. Pretty nifty detail on him. I mean, obviously the one from Japan is going to have a little bit more color, a little bit more paint apps. But hey, this is pretty awesome. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to show you the transformation him. And then we're going to bring in the other, the other one. This is his Zord. So this is something that's pretty nifty I like. But in Japan, they did not do. Why? I don't know. We've been getting a lot of things over here that Japan does not get. And I'm going to be the one to tell you, that's pretty awesome. So with this one, you just turn these out. Right here. It's a little in the mouth. You slide them in. Slide them in to what? To what? You hear the click. That is right, folks. Tell them what he's won. Alright, and then you bring the helmet here. If I can get it there, it's a definite possibility of a maybe. All right, boom. Then you have little axes here, and you just put the axes in his hand. The back end splits apart. Rumble tusk, mumble mumble rumble in the jungle. Look at that bad guy. All right. Let's get a look at that head. It's pretty good. Looks pretty good. I like the elephant Zord. Um, Rumble Tusk, I'm pretty sure is what they're going to go with. And then I'm pretty sure that's what the combination is going to be called anyway, is Rumble Tusk. But um, why don't we swap him out? So, through the power 
of editing, we are going to swap Zords. Whoa, what do we got here? This is going to be your Rumble Tusk Megazord. I like it. I like it. I think the green goes really well with the color scheme of this. Really well. The axes set it off. Here's the thing that I think is even going to be great. Is you get extra Megazord pieces. Like, say if you just want to pay tribute to the green dragon Zord, you get the green dragon. Do what? That's pretty cool, right? Of course it is. Of course it is. Um, I wanted to show you this combination. I think it's pretty slick. Um, I'm actually going to show you the little guy form again because uh, I uh, messed up. And when I say that I messed up, I messed up bad, guys. I just so bad, bad. All right, so basically here it is. We're gonna so these are the pieces you need. You need the elephant. Okay, so you take him out. You pop him back. Okay. You put these together, right? Here. You put them down. See, this is where I messed up. You put this here. You fold that up, and then you put that like that, so you kind of have the thing. That's how it's supposed to go. Um, of course, you can do it the other way, too. I didn't do it the other way, because I am insane, and I should look at directions, but hey, what do I know? But it's alright, guys. It's awesome. I like, like that, and I think it's cool, because if you don't like that, Oh man, I want to put something else here. Let's put. What? Will he fit there? Guess what? He won't. Why? Because I don't understand it. Um, I do know, though, that he won't fit like that. But you can put the elephant. Like that. Okay? Yeah. That's cool. I like it. Um, another thing I messed up on because. That's what we do. We fly by the seat of our pants, guys. That's one thing. Here. This. This is the right. Um, eh. However, when we attach him into, like, make his little person mode, we're actually supposed to take these off. Back. These go off like this, we pop his head up, and then we split them, and they go on like this. So like he has shoulder cannons of doom. Does anyone else get the, hey, this guy kind of looks like a uh, hound or bulkhead kind of, the, the green color scheme, the, the way that his face is all kind of roundy, I kind of get that bulk. no, he will not stand very, what, never mind, I'm a liar. He stands pretty good, actually. So he gets to hit the table a little bit, shaking a little bit. Hey, there you go. But that is the Rumble Tusk. Um, more Ninja Steel stuff to come. More Ninja Steel stuff to come. This is just the beginning. Um, we're going to get some range, uh, the Power Ranger movie stuff coming. Um, just be on the lookout, guys. This is your Revolutionary Nerd signing out, saying, see you next time.